channel so in today's video we are going to be doing an affordable makeup tutorial everything that I use in this look is pretty darn affordable the only thing I messed up on was I ended up using my Stila Magnificent Metals glitter eyeshadow instead of my NYX um, glitter liner but instead of this you can use this but I don't know what I was thinking I was just going 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 talking to Jack and talking to my mom and talking to everybody while I was doing this I and ended up using the wrong product but I intended for this to be an entirely affordable makeup look whether it's something that you can order online like BH Cosmetics well you can also find at Ulta now or that you can find at your local Walmart or Kmart or Target or Ulta or something like that somewhere where you would normally frequent and you know it, it's not gonna break your bank so nonetheless I hope you guys enjoyed this video this is more of like a Christmas holiday -y kind of look but you can wear it year round if you want to just switch out the lip like it's honestly a pretty neutral eye and if you take out the glitter it's a perfect everyday makeup tutorial so that is pretty much it I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Go ahead and join our fam. We don't have a name yet, but we are continuing to grow and get larger. So you don't want to miss out on joining our family. And I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah. Bye. Guys, welcome to the quickest makeup tutorial you'll ever see. So right now my lids are already primed and I'm going in with the shade Angel, I believe it is. Or maybe I'm lying again. I will have it linked, listed down below. But it's out of the It's My Ray Ray eyeshadow palette. And then I'm taking the shade Midnight, which is that deep kind of cool tone brown with a Pretty Bar eyeshadow brush. Now I'm using the Pretty Bar's blending brushes for this look. Um... Well, pretty much all of the brushes and right now I'm just placing that into the crease you just want to add this for a little bit of definition make sure to really blend the shade out so go back and forth and then right now I am speeding through cutting out my crease so I'm doing a half cut crease so that way the vanilla shade that goes on the lid has something to adhere to and it really pops and for that shade I am taking the shade nudist out of the it's my Ray Ray eyeshadow palette with a large fluffy eyeshadow brush from um, the pretty bar eyeshadow brush uh, palette or not palette but collection as well just packing that bone color all over my lid this is such a pretty color and then I'm taking the uh, Stila Magnificent Metals glitter eyeshadows in the shade Smoky Satin with an E06 wing liner brush from Sigma like I mentioned you can use the NYX shade if you want to but I ended up going in with this one because I did it on the other eye on accident so right now, I'm just speeding through lining my lash line. This is the NYC Black Liquid Eyeliner. I get mine off of Amazon because I have to, have to, have to use this eyeliner. It is literally the best eyeliner out there. And then for the lashes, I'm using the Platinum Princess by Vegas Ney. So to prime my skin, I'm using the Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Smooth Primer. I haven't used this in a while. And it's more of a lotion base, so it helps with my drier skin. And then for foundation, or actually, I'm spraying my face with my Mario Badescu Facial Spray and Cucumber and then I am going to go in with the beauty blend or the L'Oreal foundation sponge and the LA girl pro coverage foundation in the shade coffee now this beauty sponge you can get at like Walgreens Walmart Target anywhere that sells L'Oreal and it is my favorite affordable beauty sponge there's nothing like it nothing as soft nothing as bouncy nothing as smooth as the L'Oreal sponge so right now I'm just highlighting my skin and of course I'm using my L'Oreal Pro or I'm sorry um, LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn and then I'm just going to go ahead and set my face after I blend that all out and I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade Medium, yeah just medium I believe. And this shade, this powder gives extra coverage, I have a full review on it, I'll have it listed at the end of this video, but it does give extra coverage and I kind of like it and I kind of don't like it so it kind of gives me a little more of a like ashy kind of look I guess you could say. But I'm also using the contour pan out of the It's My Ray Ray contour palette side which is a little bit darker and a little bit more cool tone. I personally am not a big fan of the shade, but you guys all seem to like it, and I just don't. So I'm using the medium shade and the dark shade to contour my nose because I don't want it to be as dark as it is out in the outer perimeter. And then for highlighter, I'm taking the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Highlighting Palette, and I'm applying the two darker shades out of the palette with a Morphe brushes, like a big 
eyeshadow highlighter brush I don't know what it's called but it's out of the eye credible brush set and I'm using that to highlight and then I use this duo ended brush one side has a pencil brush and I use that to do my nose and then I use a slider highlighter for the inner corner just to add a little pop you know <laughs> next for my lips I'm using the NYX liquid or not liquid suede the suede matte lip liners this is in the shade oh my gosh club hopper i believe it's club hopper it's just a maroon i wanted something to kind of deepen the lip color because this is the maybelline matte lipstick and divine wine absolutely love these lipsticks i'll probably do a video on my top five red lippies if you guys want to see that but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed the video happy holidays i love you all and i will see you guys in the next video Mwah. bye